I graduated a few years ago uh, from UC Santa Barbara with a majors in uh, biopsychology. Um, and then after that, wound up in a couple stints, a um, few boutique agencies uh, before I ended up as a technical recruiter in San Francisco. I think after my experiences of working with a variety of different agencies, um, got a real good opportunity to see different industries and products and services and really help those individual companies grow from the ground up. So that kind of gave me a, a background introspective into how they operate and I really wanted to get a better understanding about how to build those processes out. So I wanted more formalized education in human resources, which is why I, I started pursuing or looking for different opportunities and, and that's how I ended up with uh, the Villanova program. Moving from California to Philadelphia was really interesting. Um, it was quite difficult because I had to leave a lot of family and friends behind, obviously, but it's always been something I wanted to do. Never been to the East Coast before. I've actually lived in California my whole life, um, but it's been a great experience so far. It was difficult, uh, especially having to, to manage the, the cold weather and especially driving in the snow, but um, it's been a really interesting experience so far. I'm currently an HR associate at the Philadelphia Museum of Art, uh, so I support a small team there um, for a variety of different things, benefits administration, employee relations, and a whole variety of other HR uh, functions. I think I have to preface my answer uh, with the fact that I work with a really supportive team. Um, they allow me to have a really flexible work schedule. Uh, with that said, it's still pretty difficult to manage both uh, full-time course load and full-time work schedule. Um, there's a lot of things that I do have to sacrifice, especially on the weekends, um, but I just have to keep reminding myself of, you know, why I moved here in the first place and definitely it's been a rewarding experience. I think HR is something that a lot of organizations just think about from the very beginning. You know, it's not something to think about only when you have maybe 20 or 30 employees and you're starting to worry about you know, how to continue maybe interviewing each new candidate. You don't have the time to do that anymore. It's something where you have to really invest your resources in from the beginning so that you can grow out the processes from the ground up um, and really develop those best practices with certain values in mind. My favorite class so far is definitely organizational development, um, just learning about the theories behind change management and the different models of, of really implementing those changes. Um, ties really well in uh, ties in really well with my current experiences at the museum, as well as you know where I aspire to be in the future. Um, not sure yet. I think I still have a lot to learn here at the, at the museum, um, especially from you know the, the team members I work with. They are so experienced, and, and there's a lot left that that I can learn from them. But in the future, I definitely want to return to California at some point. Um, and especially work with those, those startups that I had mentioned earlier. Um, definitely want to help an organization grow from the ground up.